you can see, there's a lot of green in here and a lot of kind of weeds and it's mostly grass, but there are some weeds. I don't really know why. I wish I had a plow that I could plow this up because I don't think we're getting it quite deep enough. And even if it's not that, I think it's just staying clumpy enough that the grass is still rooting itself fast and not dying. So task at hand today is we're gonna try and rototill all of our field areas again and try and get that stuff chopped up a little finer because clearly it's just not it's not chopped up and planting season's coming quick so i don't want to have any of that out there none of it every day around this time they know before i can do anything instead of using the coyote tractor now that we have our own tractor here the last time i used this so when the previous video when we hooked up to the hay vine to test run it. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but I'm guessing it sucked in dirt or something like that. The fuel just started pouring out of the bottom of the carburetor. So I'm guessing the seat is stuck or the need something in the needle or the float, there could be junk in there. So I think I'm gonna have to pop the carburetor, pop the bowl off and see if there's anything in there, clean it out. And hopefully that solves it. We could probably run it the way it is, but it's like spitting and sputtering. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't give us a huge issue and there's not a huge problem because that would just suck because we kind of need this for the hay season and many other things. Well, in, in the midst of trying to start it, I can see the fuel flowing through there. Look at all that junk floating around. Oh. It's no wonder. And I think this tank is a little rough, so we may have to do something with that. And right there you can see it's it's starting to pour out. So guaranteed it's got junk in there. I don't know what this is, if this is supposed to be a filter or just like a vacuum. I don't know what that is exactly, but we need to put a filter in here or something that we can clean so it doesn't all get into the carburetor. We got the bowl off. And there is tons of rusty junk down in there, all floating around. So that's a lot of our problem. And I think this is a, some sort of filter. And I dumped that out and it came out black out of the one side, so. Fun. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Cleaned everything out. I think the float was stuck because it was like hung up. So I don't know. We'll see if that runs out of there. Well, I'm pretty sure it would have been running out by now. So I guess I'm going to fill it up with gas and hope that we don't have to do that again. But we probably do because I think there's junk in the tank. Topped her off with fuel. It's still not running out of there. So I think we're good. See what happens here. Well, so far, so good. I don't know how long it'll last, but I know we need our top link, a couple pins. Well, that was fun. And I'm not sure that that piece, I'm, I'm not sure that this implement's meant for this old of stuff because the PTO, for whatever reason, is like maxed out. I had to actually push it forward further so I could get the arms on. I don't know what that's about. I mean, the PTO can't go anywhere. It can't come off. But I don't know. That's weird. The wheat is definitely looking really nice. So if you watched one of the last videos where we came up here and spread out all the manure from all of our animals and everything, I'm gonna till that all in here now, get it really you know, worked into the soil. Cause we're, we're probably a couple weeks out from planting yet at least. 
maybe even more than that so especially till we do corn we're you know at least that out so i gotta try and tweak something on tweak some adjustments on the if i can on the three-point arms but hopefully this works if i can't till with this tractor which i was really hoping to be able to if i can't then i'll have to use the coyote i guess but we'll see what happens hopefully we can get this worked in and it's starting to it's starting to get kind of hard and clumpy and stuff obviously but that's because it hasn't been worked in a while we still do have the harrow over there but we'll get going here and see what happens talking about right here this is locked in now again but uh, that angle it's running at that angle that's i don't like that not even a little bit so I either gotta try and find something out you know to do with those three points to be able to lock them in and i really don't know exactly how to do that or we got to use the coyote instead of this this ain't gonna happen. I really don't like that at all. It's like the PTO shaft is too long for whatever reason. And I don't know how to get the three points from swaying back and forth to keep it centered. So I'm just gonna have to do it with the Coyote. I was really hoping to use this tractor, but the Coyote's gonna be easier. And we'll use this tractor to pull the harrow. So. Yeah. Taylor's on the coyote. We'll try this again. Here's my rant. And this happens all the time. There's fresh tire tracks here. So somebody decided, oh, you know what? I'm just, just gonna drive up here, help myself. And luckily this wasn't planted yet, but if it would have been not a care in the world, you know, just gonna drive and turn around and do whatever I want, please. Even though it's not my land, pisses me off. done up here and the dirt is looking mighty fine probably could have went over it one more time but I gotta get down and do the garden too and I'm sure we'll go over it again before planting comes down here we had grass come up really really bad I mean it's it's rooted pretty good I mean there you can really see it so we got to chop this up we're probably gonna go over this twice nothing looks better than a fresh tilled garden or field in my opinion and I'm sure we could till this 20 times and grass will poke right back up through. Either way, 
I know we're gonna probably have to do it again some more times. It did obviously rip this grass and stuff out, but it's still, you know, clumped up. So we kind of need this to die and kind of rot up a little bit and then chop it up finer again. So that's where we're at. I wish we could have used my tractor, but you know, things always don't go as planned. I don't know what the difference is with it, but either way, we got done one more step closer to planting. It's coming fast. They do want it cooling down again. Today it's upper 70s. So they do want it cooling down again here within the next week. So. I don't know what that's going to do or what that's going to bring. The last video, we managed to start our seeds, which we stood, should have started them weeks ago. But we didn't, and we're behind, kind of like always. It is, it is what it is. We'll get there. We'll make it work. That's going to do it. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.